What's up guys? It is Cory from Super Kami Guru 9000. And due to popular demand, I'm going to show you guys my live reaction to the final episode of the 2011 Hunter Hunter anime series. I know it's hard to believe, but all good things must come to an end. This is an episode that I've been looking forward to seeing for a long time, and even though the anime is coming to an end, there still is the Hunter x Hunter manga out there for all of us to read and enjoy. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and watch this final episode. Just a quick reminder, the actual anime episode will not be in this video. Otherwise, YouTube will take it down. So if you would like to watch along with me, please do so. I would recommend checking out the video on Crunchyroll. So, let's begin. In three, two, one. Here we are, the final episode of Hunter x Hunter. I don't even think we're going to get an intro this week. I think they're just going to get straight to the action. I'm not sure if I can expect any action from the final episode. I don't think it's that type of episode. Obviously, if you guys have been tuning in, the big thing here is that Gon is getting ready to meet his dad. Jing is debatably one of the worst fathers in, in anime history. Um, maybe he'll redeem himself in this episode by explaining something we don't know. Be interested to see. Technically, Gon did find Jing. It might not have been the way that he wanted him to find him, but he found him. Uh, the artwork in this episode is pretty nice. Um, all the backgrounds look good. Young Jing looks exactly like Gon. Oh, we're going we're going back in time before we go forward. You can see this is a uh, before Gon and Killua uh, parted ways. Not permanently, mind you. I'm sure they'll see each other again. Past and future. What a very booming soundtrack. Alright, so, Gon's clearly about to climb Korin's tower so that he can get the mystical water so that he can beat General Tao. Clearly, I'm confusing this with another anime series, but uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to be as strenuous as that because a lot of people are trying to climb this tree. It's a, it's a big tourist attraction. A tourist attraction in which you can die. Okay, so they're showing us a little flashback of uh, the earlier parts of the series when they're taking the hunter exam. This is expected. Old saw totes. Ooh. Hanzo. A very underused character who, maybe in the manga version, does a little bit more. But I mean, you gotta do more with your badass bald ninja. Oh, anime flashbacks. You never go out of style, do you? Hey, remember this? Hey, remember that? Oh, my favorite episode, beating the shit out of Hisoka. I mean, they are going through every arc. I guess this way they can technically show Kurapika in the final episode of the series, because who knows what the hell he's doing. I need to stress, too, if you guys have never watched any of my reviews or anything for Hunter x Hunter... I don't read the manga version. This is all new stuff to me. Did they do this in the manga version too? Did they show all the flashbacks with Gon and him wailing on Neferpito? <laughs> Alright, so we just went through the flashbacks. Yeah, he wants to climb the tree. He has his license.
No special treatment up in here. You want to climb this tree, you got to sign the sheet. Ah, uh, nostalgia music feels. Hunter Hunter has a really good soundtrack. Not too many varied songs, but a lot of really memorable ones. Only badasses climb the tree barehanded. Alright, they give them a nice little cool memento watch if anything goes wrong. Just hit the button and I guess they'll come help with a helicopter or something. Whoa. Gone just freaking went all ninja up the tree. This episode is certainly giving off the uh, adventure vibe that the series was known for at the very beginning. I really like that. Kid's got balls. He's like halfway up this tree. He's like, oh, all right, this looks cool. How is he climbing that bare fisted? Guess all that training paid off. Become one with the tree. In the tree, part of the tree. Didn't expect to make a Adventure Time reference <laughs> on the final episode of Hunter Hunter. Man, this is literally a slow crawl to meeting Jing for the first time. I mean, yeah, they technically met before, but this is going to be like the first father-son moment for Jing and Gon. Which is ultimately what the series has been leading up to. Oh, man. This guy right here is the, the mayor of Strugglesville. He's hanging out on this leaf. He couldn't even hit the... He couldn't even hit, press his own button. He had to have Gon do it for him. I'll give him that guy some credit, though. He made it pretty far. <laughs> oh, my God. This little hover, hover helicopter with a little basket that people can sit in looks hilarious. Gon's like, no, Biggie. God, he's not even getting tired. At all. I thought this was going to be like the whole episode, just Gon struggling to get up through this tree, and he's having no issues with it. I mean, it makes sense, though. Gon's like, you know, they've emphasized throughout the whole series he's like a... Uh, a kid of the wild, you know, he's used to living in the wild. This is no biggie for him at all. Like, literally, that was no problem. What? There's some sort of weird duck-looking thing with really big eyes. There's a lot of them. A green one, a pink one, a red one, a yellow one, a white one. And they're huge! Oh! Yeah, Gon agrees. <laughs> there are a lot of really weird creatures in the world of Hunter x Hunter that they haven't, like, really expanded upon too much. It kind of reminds me of uh, Toriko. And even now, uh, the new show, Akame Got Kill, which has all these big, like, danger beasts in the show. Jing is always, every time they show him too, he's always around like big, like massive monsters and animals. Twenty minutes? Oh my god. Gone's a beast. Thank you for the half-eaten apple, father. It's just like your love, which you only give half of, and not even that. It's so easy to make fun of Jing for being a bad dad. Last convention I was at, Dragon Con, there was this one guy who was cosplaying as Jing, and uh, it was the only Hunter x Hunter character I saw cosplaying, and it was really funny because he had this mug that said, World's Greatest Dad, and nobody got the joke. Mmm.
That which you cannot see in front of you. Jing isn't looking for anything specific, apparently. Apparently, he's just on a constant adventure for new things at all times. And he doesn't even really know what he's looking for. <laughs> Telling those things to shut up. Where do you want to go, Jing? He's trying to find some, like, ancient secret burial ground. He's like an archaeologist. So are we building up a lot of new characters that Jing has worked with before? goal It's about the thrill of the hunt, not so much what it is that you're looking for. The journey, not the destination. Searching for that tomb was all just for the success of it. It's very interesting. exactly what it is he's just he's all about the journey <laughs> and it allows gone to reflect on all the friends that he has made Those goofy looking birds. The biggest tree in the world. Or tallest. That tree's not even at its full... Wow. Metaphor.
a tree growing into the atmosphere of Earth. There's some other world in one in Hunter Hunter that we don't even know about. Like what? What? The Chimera Ants and all that stuff are actually from another place. I mean, obviously, but man, why they gotta end the series here when you're teasing this big, awesome world that they're about to go and explore? He's looking for the unknown, the unknown world. This is a very slow but very nice looking episode. You need four people for the journey. You need authorization. The means and qualification and a contract okay Jing hasn't gotten any of these things yet damn straight you're enjoying it that, that scene right there where they're both standing at the tree just like the colors and everything looks really nice that's some pretty good advice you know some some people rush things too much Take in the little detours. <laughs> God, those goofy birds. Oh, is there's actually the the big one? It has ears and it's just as goofy looking. Okay. They remind me of those alien Muppets from Sesame Street for some reason. Just the noises they make. Gon's telling him all the things that he's done. <laughs> telling him how to sneak into Killua's mansion. Either Jing was telling him a cool story about a gun, or he was just telling about him an awesome episode of Yu Yu Hakusho that he just watched. They're playing the intro, it's over. That's it, that's the end of the show. Credits, going back to the, the Whale Island. Postcard from Gone. This is going to be the full version of the song.
da, 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 da. You can go away. Yeah. Everybody's getting hammered, yeah! Palm, Melioron, Ikalgo, Knuckles, Shoot, Kilowana Luka. We're gonna see uh, Leario and Kurapika, right? Maybe Hisoka? Leario, there we go. He still has his picture in the frame right behind him. Very nice. And a pretty slick looking monitor. Are we gonna get any teases for anything? We're going into a dark alley. It has to be He's Oh, it's Kurapika! Doing what he was doing before! Brooding in a dark room! Looking at the eyes of his clan. They're mourning the death of uh, the butler. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. He's alive? Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, never mind. Those creatures transformed into him for some reason. Why is... They're just gonna pretend that he's alive for some reason? There has to be a reason for this? Oh, the Khmer and King's Palace. Are we gonna see... something with Meruem and Komugi? We are. They're holding hands when they died. Kite in the koala. I can't help but smile just seeing all these characters. I can't believe this is it. Oh! I cannot believe that's the end of it. Sage advice. That's that's the end of the episode. There is no indication that the show could pick up at any time in the future. There's no see you later. There's just a final message from Jing saying to enjoy the little detours in life. A lot of the times they're more enjoyable than what you really want. And I will say that I loved this series. The final episode maybe wasn't what I was expecting, but it still wraps up everything nicely and still puts a nice bow on on this badass anime series so there it is there's my reaction i'm sure it wasn't as exciting as you guys were hoping for this was uh not the type of episode that i was expecting to react too heavily to and i didn't even really get any teary-eyed at all you know I was, I was expecting to get a little more choked up but that didn't happen but i hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway please tell me what you thought about the final episode of hunter hunter and stay tuned i am going to release a full review of the final episode so make sure and look for that and go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already you can do so by clicking on a button right up here and you can also follow us on facebook and on twitter Thank you guys again. Make sure and check out all of my previous reviews of the Hunter x Hunter anime series. There will be a playlist for that on our video page. Thanks again. Peace. 
Do you like Amazon.com? I know I do. Corey and I now have an Amazon link in our video description box below. And if you go to it and buy anything through Amazon.com, it will support our channel. So bookmark that link, make it happen, and support our channel without having to do a damn thing. Another great way you guys can help support our channel is by donating directly through our PayPal link in the description box below. We recommend $2 a month, although this is completely optional. But the best way to go about this is by sneaking into your mom's room and taking $2. This way, she won't even notice. And we won't have to shake you up for all of your lunch money. So guys, that concludes this review today. Super Kami Guru 9000, out.